Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I wanna come out here and talk about the whole Takashi 6 9 Nicki Minaj and Cardi B situation, okay? Just when we thought their beef and their drama was done, it looks like some more stuff is coming out. Now, as we all know, Nicki Minaj has been accused constantly of trying to stop people's bags, but now it's being reported that she got into Takashi 6 9s ear and basically stopped his bag and stopped Fashion Nova's bag as well, okay? So what's going down is that this weekend, as we all know, Takashi 6 9s album Dummy Boy leaked onto the internet. And so there's a song on there called Mama. And in that song, it features Takashi 6 9 it features Kanye West and Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj is going hard. And in that song, she's basically insinuating that a particular somebody fucked DJs for tracks and fucked producers and everything else. I was out in Spain rocking the Medusa head. I ain't never have to give a rap producer hair. If I do though, I'ma write a book like Superhead. This ain't wonder that I'm making this that super bread. She doesn't mention any names, but like we say in the South, sometimes a hit dog will damn holler, okay? Because once that snippet went viral, people went to Cardi B's page and were asking Cardi B, is Nicki talking about you? What do you gotta say about this? So of course, Cardi B took to Instagram to talk about the situation once again. Y'all go ahead and check out what Cardi B had to say. Check this out and I'ma come back with the rest of my commentary. She got paused. Nah, I never fucked the DJ, on God. Like, I, I, I dealt with scammers drug dealers i dealt with some, some bum ass niggas but i never fucked me a dj i know what y'all gonna ask me and i said and i addressed this a whole lot of time like then you fuck self i never fuck self i never been in a relationship with self i never flirted with self you know that was some whole love and hip-hop shit and i know a lot of people gonna ask me so if you never fucked around with self why do you pop on that girl i popped on that girl because What's her name again? Yorma. I popped on her because she can't, she was talking to me crazy and I was like, oh nah. I don't know if somebody put the bug in her ear or some shit, but I never fucked that I never fucked that nigga. So you know I popped on her and everything. And you know, after that episode I spoke to her, I'm like, yo, I don't know what people told you, but I never fucked around myself. I'm just doing this love and hip hop shit. And she's like, oh, okay, I understand. And it's like never was my nigga and everything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A lot of people wanna be on Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what Cardi B had to say. Once again, like I've been saying in all my videos, Cardi B, if it don't apply, let the shit fly. Unless your name is mentioned, why even acknowledge it? All you did was bring more attention to the song. But any damn ways, what's going on now is this. As we all know, Cardi B got a deal with Fashion Nova and she just launched her Fashion Nova line. She launched her Fashion Nova line and her fashion sold out in less than 24 hours. She got restocked recently and they also sold sold out as well so she's definitely doing a good job with her fashion nova line well fashion nova also inked a deal with takashi 69 where they would pay him a very large sum of money to basically shot out their clothing line in one of his songs and then also have the girls the models in his music video wearing the fashion nova clothing line so they're saying that what happened is that the day the music video shoot um the girls were dressed they were wearing their fashion nova but then of course the shooting happened so they weren't able to get their visuals that they paid for but what's even worse is that when the song came out, Takashi 6 9 is rapping about apple bottoms instead of Fashion Nova. And they're saying that the reason why 6 9 took the Fashion Nova line out of his song is because Nicki Minaj told him to, that she didn't want any reference to Fashion Nova because it would have bought shine to Cardi. No, so this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what TMZ is saying. Go ahead and check this out. So TMZ sources claim that Takashi had a deal with Fashion Nova Men's worth six figures. They paid him the full amount up front and he promised to promote their line in his new music. When Kanye, Nicki, and Takashi attempted to shoot the music video for the song, there was an actual shooting that led to the cancellation of the visuals. As we all know, soon after, Takashi was placed under arrest in a RICO case. If you head over to TMZ, you can check out the original 
promo for the video, which was decked out with Fashion Nova merch and some big booties, as the original lyric implies. Sources tell TMZ that Nicki Minaj felt some type of way about being on a song that mentioned Fashion Nova, and it may be due to Cardi B's deal with the company. Allegedly, Nicki asked Takashi to take Fashion Nova out of the song, which means he backed out of the deal after already getting paid. Now that's bad for business. This new revelation also adds depth to the speculation that Nicki Minaj dissed Cardi B on the song Mama. I was out in Spain rocking the Medusa head. I ain't never have to give a rap producer head. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So, you know, my personal opinion, he was an idiot for doing that. First of all, he's a grown man. Why even involve yourself in female beef? And then why mess with your bag because of Nicki Minaj? If she didn't want you to say the Fashion Nova line, then guess what? You could have replaced her with a whole nother female rapper. You could have used one of them 10 doll chicks, okay? You could have used any of the doll chicks. You could have used Cupcake. You could have used Sweetie. So my thing is, why lose your money behind Nicki Minaj? And I can definitely see Nicki Minaj telling him not to say that, being that, you know, her and Cardi B have been beefing, and we all know know now that when you think about Fashion Nova, a lot of people equate Fashion Nova to Cardi B because she's been such a big supporter of Fashion Nova. She's been rocking with Fashion Nova since before she really blew up in the music game. So I believe that what's going to end up happening to Takashi 69 is he's definitely going to get a lawsuit from Fashion Nova because they paid him in advance, okay? Um, he didn't do what he was asked to do, so they're going to have to wait in line behind the security team that he owes hundred grand to. And then also behind his booking agency, who he also owes $800,000 to. I don't know how much Fashion Nova paid him, but I'm sure they're going to definitely try and sue because, again, this is breach of contract. Not only were the visuals not met, but for him to change the song from Fashion Nova to Apple Bottoms, to me, is just ridiculous. This is 2018. Who the hell is wearing Apple Apple bottoms. Like seriously, do they even sell apple bottoms anymore? Like Takashi 69 is a straight up fool for that. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nicki Minaj, supposedly, allegedly stopping somebody else's bag. Do you feel like this is Nicki Minaj's fault or do you feel like this is Takashi 6 ix fault? Because after he received his money, he then agreed to not use the Fashion Nova line, you know, in order to, you know, make Nicki feel comfortable. So was that on Takashi 6 9 And do you feel like Nicki Minaj was bogus for even asking him to do that? And then how do you feel about the song Mama in general? Do you feel like that line was towards Cardi B or do you feel like once again, Cardi B's inserting herself into something that may not have anything to do with her. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.